My name is Gil, otherwise known as uh, Goa Gil. I am 58 years old, and I mean, I reside all over the place. <laughs> Actually, my grandfather and even great-grandparents had been to India, and my grandfather was a photographer and took, traveled all over the world all his life and took photos, and growing up in elementary school, he used to come to my school every year and show slideshows with India and this and that. So I had India on the brain somehow already as a young, from a young age. But in the beginning, it was, I was just like, doing my sadhana and playing my songs and living mo moment to moment. <laughs> and it was still a really innocent time. And all these songs used to come and I'd play wherever I could and on Eddie's porch and this and that. And it was all just happening. It was so spontaneous and free. I mean, and still I didn't have many responsibilities. Later when you know, the electric equipment came in and then your father decided he didn't want to deal with it so much anymore and then it all came in my hands and then I built a PA and got the music house and this and that. Then of course life changed because there were so many responsibilities keeping a whole music scene going. After I sold the music house thing, I bought an Enfield, I drove all over India up to Nepal to Tibet border, sold the Enfield and then went to the west and I was in, you know, went many places to check out things and I was in London and San Francisco I discovered rough trade music and I started to get the first singles, 12 inch singles of what later would be techno music. And then I started to really get tired of the normal music and get more and more on that music and people were asking me, like paying me to come and play, but play the old music, don't play that new music. People were really against it in the beginning. And I did that for a couple of parties, but every time I tried to put on something I really liked, no, no, they'd come put, you know, Bob Marley or Sade or whatever, you know. And then I decided, I sold all my old tapes and then I just had only that new music and then I just went for it from then and it's been a constant evolution because every year the music changes. I'm not into nostalgia. If I was into nostalgia, I'd still be into the Grateful Dead. I'm, I've been a musician all my life and I'm always looking for something new and really stimulating in music. And that's what's kept me on my quest for the holy grail of music, I guess, and always searching. And in computer music, you know, there's so many possibilities, it's unlimited. You can mix it with anything and any kind of ethnic thing or whatever. So, like, there's always people coming up with new and interesting ideas that keeps me, like, interested. I look back on everything, it's been a constant flow, like, somehow, like, the party never stopped. It started already in the 60s in San Francisco and it just went on and everything was evolving and I was learning through it and so that I would be able to do what I do today. Which is, you know, I call it redefining the ancient tribal ritual for the 21st century. Dancing with her sword and Dance. Dance is active meditation. When we dance, we go beyond thought, beyond mind, 
and beyond our own individuality, to become one in the divine ecstasy of union with the cosmic spirit. This is the essence of the trance dance experience. Harara Mahadev, Om Namah Shivaya.